My name is Francis, and I look at California and the people that live there. You're live? Yeah. So these are my travel brochures. Mm. I have like so many of these. I have hundreds of them. Yeah. In, like every county. This is a project about a project I would like to do in the future. But yeah, like I was just picking up papers across all of California. I've been doing this since 2018. I collect travel brochures. I have hundreds of these. That's a San Diego brochure. Oh yeah? yeah. Why do you say that one's the real one and that one's like? Uh, because it's sponsored by San Diego. We have a logo. Yeah. Downtown San Diego, Balboa Park, La Jolla, Del Mar. We send everyone to Balboa. Yeah. Whale watching. Uh, mostly coastal stuff. We don't send people inland at all. My name is Francis and I've been to every county in California. Hmm. It's crazy how they give out these pieces of paper for free, even though like they're as tall as me. Hello, my name is Francis and the title of my project is Localizing the Visitor. I wish to make an exhibition about every county in California. But in order to understand why I wish to do that, we first have to interrogate the concept of the visitor. Because the visitor does two things. They idealize and they sympathize. They idealize because they walk in with expectations. These are from two locations. This is from the area around Napa Valley and this is from Central Valley. And the visitor walks in perhaps with the expectation for thrill at an amusement park, with the expectation of luxury at a vineyard, the rustic farmer's market of the escape to nature. And these ideas transfer to travel brochures. There are some that point out a history. For example, Cannery Row. Like San Francisco is a place that has both old and new vineyard kind of thing. Like the idea of the beach, the sunset, Travel brochures contain these idealized expectations, and people chase what they see in travel brochures. They see these things as the authentic, and they look for it when they go there. They look for the theme park in Vallejo. They look for the food in Central Valley. But then visitors also do this thing called sympathizing. I, myself, am from the city of Vallejo, which is known as the first city in the 2008 recession to go bankrupt and opportunity just ended up leaving the city. But the in-between of these two extremes is life. They're a place where people live, but life's more complicated than those things. Sonoma Boulevard is the central street in Vallejo. Despite being a high crime area at one point, the street today holds many restaurants, which to residents of the area is hopeful and a refreshing sight after these restaurants have been gone for a long time. Alta Vista Elementary School is the only elementary school in East Porterville. Even as drought sat as a barrier in the way to progress, residents say that Alta Vista later helped bring them to new futures and careers across Central Valley. Life's not good, not bad, but ordinary. That's how people that live in cities see it. So therefore it's necessary to do this activity called necessary cartography because there's a difference between lived and visited experience. What a travel brochure represents is it doesn't reflect a city, it reflects yourself. It shows you what you expect a place to be like. It summarizes what you're looking for. What can this place do for me when they're looking at a place? What are my values? What do I expect? So, the exhibition I wish to make one day, I wish to make a guided and cartographic experience that connects the lived experience of locales to visitors of locales. Because, like, these places aren't designed to be visited. These places are places. People live here. Because travel brochures direct your attention towards things that you're already expecting to notice. They show you maps, and they show you monuments and these maps and monuments represent what you're looking for in a place. What I wish to do is I wish to replace these. And I wish to replace these with the experiences of people. I wish to problematize travel brochures. It's a three-wall projection where in the middle is a map, and on 
The left and the right are recreations of panels of the travel brochure. I wish to interview one person from every county, have them tell me what places are important in their city, what are monuments to a visitor. Viewers of this exhibition can go compare and contrast the real travel brochure against the three wall exhibition that contains my commentary. I wish for people to just gain a deeper empathy for people that are very far away from them. And that's my presentation. Thank you.